Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now, alongside of iOS 15.2, Apple has also released iPadOS 15.2 to the general public. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look to see how the 2017 iPad Pro handles this latest release. Now, if you'd like to see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications enabled. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. All right, so we'll start off with the overall performance of iPadOS 15.2 on this iPad. Now compared to iPadOS 15.1, I have noticed only a slight increase in performance, nothing major, nothing that's gonna change your usage or your workflow, but I thought I'd throw it in here just because there is a slight increase there. Now in terms of the overall animations, you could probably see here in Twitter, there is some noticeable stuttering. And this isn't just in Twitter, this is also throughout the operating system. Occasionally I will notice noticeable stuttering. It's nothing huge, but it is there. And originally I did think this was a hardware problem, which it's not. I had some people comment on my last iPadOS video saying that they were experiencing the same thing. And I'm here to tell you this is not fixed in 15.2, sadly. We do look forward to a fix in the future, seeing how this is likely a software problem. And moving on to RAM management, again, I have noticed no change. This time it's not a bad thing because RAM management has also been pretty good um, on this iPad, I've never really had a major problem with it, with the exception of a few iPadOS 13 releases, but overall RAM management is pretty good. So unfortunately, there is no way I can tell you guys or show you what my battery health is right now, but the last time I checked was through an Apple support diagnostics test, and that was a little while back now, so it might be slightly lower, but then it was 84%. So I am due for a battery replacement, but I thought I'd throw this in just for reference. Now, since updating the iPadOS 15.2, I haven't really noticed any major battery drain, especially when compared to iPadOS 14, which was always really bad for me. But iPadOS 15.2 is about the same as it was in 15.1 and early releases of iPadOS 15, which for me did fix the severe battery drain. I won't say that it's completely fixed because I've seen reports and my even myself, there is still a battery drain, just not as severe. Now, standby time is about 10 to 12% drain per night. So it's not the worst I've seen, but it's also not the best I've ever seen either. But I haven't seen battery drain better than that since roughly iOS 12. Overheating is virtually non-existent on my iPad. I don't think I've ever actually had this iPad overheat on me ever since I've had it. No issues there. I will warn you all that there is no one size fits all. So just because I'm reporting better battery life with this release of iPadOS does not guarantee it will be the same for you. This is as always, and it goes for anyone. If somebody, if one person has a better experience, another person may have a worse experience. That's just how this works. Also, after updating, the device will undergo a process called indexing, which in layman's terms is just uh, performing a ton of background processes. This can last up to three days. I've personally never seen it last that long, but it can. This will use extra CPU power and it will very, very likely cause extra battery drain. So I would recommend if you do update, give it a few days just to let the device fully warm up to this new iOS release. So now with all that out of the way, we can take a look at our main question of should you update? So should you update? Well, if you're on iPadOS 14.8.1 or earlier, I would absolutely recommend waiting for a few extra releases of iPadOS 15, just so you have a, you update to a more ironed out experience since users are still reporting some bugs with this release. If you're on iPadOS 15 or later, I would absolutely recommend updating because then you will be receiving the extra bug fixes, enhancements, and features. All right, everyone, that is all I have for this video. And if you do have any questions or you just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. As always, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.